Before Blizzard's blockbuster successes with real-time strategy games such as StarCraft, Diablo, and World of Warcraft, they operated under a different name, Silicon and Synapse, and had more humble faces of the franchise. Would you believe that they were three Vikings? The company was definitely headed for bigger and better things, but to get a real sense of where they were going, you absolutely must play The Lost Vikings, an impressive and challenging strategy platformer developed in 1992 for the Sega Genesis. The game follows the three main characters, Eric the Swift, Olaf the Stout, and Balog the Fierce. If these names sound familiar, perhaps you've been doing a little too much questing in Uldaman, or perhaps the Badlands area in WoW, where they have made their most famous cameo appearance. What are now NPCs and arguably the greatest MMO in history got their start of venturing through time, accidentally getting sucked into a trap by Tomator, the ruthless Crutonian dictator, to be put on display in an intergalactic zoo full of creatures from all across the galaxy. In order to escape his pulpy clutches, they must work together and use their abilities to the fullest. Eric the Swift's name should give it away, but he can also jump and run headfirst into walls, like a frat boy who's had too much to drink. Olaf the Stout is the defender of the squad. His shield can protect his comrades, but can also act as a hang glider of sorts, allowing him to slow fall as if he drank a feather potion. Balog the Fierce provides the group with his sword and bow skills and acts as Enforcer, the only one who can attack enemies. Each Viking's skill is just as important as the others, as he lacks a certain ability another one has, so the trio must work as a team in order to all get to the end of each level in one piece. For example, Olaf can aim his shield upward so that Eric can get an extra boost. There are many things to collect in each level, from power-ups that can recharge your health count, keys that can unlock doors, and even anti-gravity shoes that will keep you from hitting your head on electrical hazards. A variety of enemies await the boys, from laser zapping robots and green alien blobs, to carnivorous dinosaurs and poison spitting snails. As far as the strategy goes, usually I would lead with Olaf the Stout, since he can act as sort of an umbrella, while Balog shoots with his bow and Eric follows. But it can't always be this way. Sometimes you'll need to lead with Eric, since he's the only one who can leap across chasms, and you'll need to take extra care since he can't attack or defend. The group's confusion as to where they are can provide for some comical dialogue, especially if you continue to screw up in the same spot, which will get Eric the Swift very pissy and moany. Unfortunately, this may happen often, in which case you'll cut to a very well-produced cutscene of a Viking funeral pyre sailing away from shore. But fear not, you have limited continues and passwords to go back to each level, in case you get frustrated. A fine example of early 90s puzzle gaming, the Lost Vikings will sack and pillage the heart of the unsuspecting gamer and would be a fine addition to your shelf if you call yourself a true Blizzard fanboy. Oh.